This week, we are going to talk about conservative treatment options for incontinence symptoms. As always, be sure to speak to your physician if you are noticing incontinence symptoms. The earlier you seek treatment, the more beneficial these conservative treatments will be. To review from last week, the pelvic floor muscles work like a hammock to support the pelvic organs, including the uterus, splatter, and rectum. When these muscles are weak, it can cause incontinence, which is the accidental leakage of urine or fecal matter. Just like other muscles in the body, these muscles can be strengthened, which can help reduce frequency and severity of accidental leaking. Pelvic floor strengthening exercises, also known as kegels, can be beneficial for symptoms of stress, urge, or fecal incontinence, but are less helpful for women who have severe incontinence or overflow incontinence, so talk with your physician for further treatment options. To get started, find the right muscles. To identify your pelvic floor muscles, stop urination and menstruing. You will find that if you have a lot of pelvic muscle weakness, this will be difficult, but this will give you an idea of how to tighten the proper muscles. Once you've identified your pelvic floor muscles, you can do these exercises in any position. Stopping urination midstream is a helpful way to identify the proper muscles, but it is not recommended to perform repeatedly, so only do this in order to fill the proper muscles initially. Then, perfect your technique. Imagine you are sitting on a marble and tighten your pelvic muscles as if you're lifting the marble. Try it for three seconds, then rest for three seconds. Maintain your focus on tightening only your pelvic floor muscles. Be careful not to flex the muscles in your abdomen, thighs, or buttocks, and remember to breathe regularly while you are contracting the muscles. Repeat three times a day. Aim for at least three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions a day. Make these exercises part of your daily routine. You can do Kegel exercise discreetly at any time of the day, like while brushing your teeth, sitting at your desk, or watching TV. You can expect to see results within a few weeks to a few months, depending on severity with regular performance of this exercise. Conservative treatment should always be considered first, and it is important to be consistent for optimum results. In addition to pelvic floor exercises, other conservative treatments can include lifestyle changes such as weight loss and dietary changes, dietary changes such as increasing fiber intake to help prevent constipation leading to excessive strain of the pelvic floor muscles, being aware and avoiding foods and drinks that irritate the inner lining of the bladder, which can increase leakage. These bladder irritating foods include dairy, caffeine, carbonated beverages, acidic foods and drinks such as orange, lemon, or pineapple, spicy foods, and alcohol. Additionally, drinking plenty of water. Water is the healthiest drink for your bladder and all your body systems for that matter. However, there are certain conditions such as kidney disease or heart failure that may limit water intake, so be sure to talk to your doctor about how many ounces you should be drinking per day. There are other possible treatment options out there available, but these conservative changes gives you a great place to start in taking better care of yourself.